true um, hero in your activism for the American people. My question um, is for Robert. Uh, yesterday, Paul, I had sent in an email um, bringing out the flagrant disregard of um, the judge, Judge Jenkins, in how he handled going to the apartment with no protection whatsoever, but yet he had everybody in the entire apartment quarantined, taking out their items, but he himself doesn't have to get quarantined. He himself does not have to wear any protection. So my question is, uh, Robert, do you think that this is that false flag event that you mentioned um, and that they would uh, simulate an Ebola attack in which they use biochemical weapons that dissipate and pretend that it's Ebola? Because who in their right mind would walk into an apartment that has Ebola everywhere from the guy that was living in that apartment with vomit and diarrhea and blood everywhere and put his life at such risk and put everybody else that he comes in contact with at risk. Well, I think you've got, a, you've, got a, you've got a very good point. Uh, and in fact, I've outlined four distinct uh, possibilities as we face this Ebola threat. And, and that, uh, that blog is, is at, uh, at Phi Beta Iota, and you can look it up as Robert Steele Ebola today, Alex Jones today. Um, so I've outlined four specifics, and there's absolutely nothing to prevent a blending of these four. Certainly, I expect people to do some false flag uh, drills. Um, Homeland Security oh is famous for wanting to take the, headli uh, take the uh, headlines and, and be active and be seen as doing something. And I think you have identified something that's called an indicator. Okay. I don't think the judge is stupid. I think very talented people tend to become judges and, and they tend to have a lot of influence, a lot of smarts. So the judge has basically shown us that he is so unconcerned about Ebola that it probably is not Ebola in this specific instance. Okay, thanks for the call. I um, just want to switch to a different topic before we throw back to the callers, and that is an article that appeared on your website, David, labeling truth seekers as conspiracy theorists. And this was about the, uh, the conspiracy theory term and how it's been weaponized as a tool, as a pejorative to demonize freedom of thought. Just get into that for a moment for us. Well, I, I have to give credit to the CIA. I mean, there was a time when I was a covert operations specialist and, and media influence operations were part of what I did, although I was focused mostly on international opinion and, and, and uh, basically crafting the worldwide opinion on El Salvador. Uh, so CIA coined this conspiracy theorist term, and the whole idea is to marginalize people. Now, if your readers want, or if your viewers want to go to Phi Beta Iota and use the search box, they can enter the words conspiracy and sane, and they will immediately get to some wonderful headlines from many other people. I don't post a lot myself on the, on the, on the website. I curate about 80 others that post. Um... The bottom line is there have been 33 conspiracy theories so labeled that have been proven true, and the research is now out showing that people who have been labeled conspiracy theorists are by and large not only more intelligent, but correct in relation to the facts. And this was, of course, the foundation was a 1967 document, I believe, from the CIA, which uh, utilize the conspiracy theory term to demonize any questioning of the Warren Commission narrative. So as far back as 67, uh, they were set on using this term as a pejorative to silence any criticism of any official narrative. And of course, in that case, with the assassination of JFK. Let's go to another call for Robert David Steele. Mike in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, two quick questions for the guest. Um, one was, you mentioned about... Uh, Texas offspring for uh, in, in Texas and possibly for uh, elections for PR. Do you see the possibility of the interim election be basically a, a census used in the electronic voting for uh, where they need to target a false voting tally? That's the first question. The second one was when you mentioned the new economy, do you uh, uh, see uh, network marketing or more multi-level marketing as one of the avenues for the uh, five billion or to uh, be able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
Oh, all right, well, we'll end this video. Appreciate that. Have a good night. I'm sorry, the call is so broken up. I